同学们，大家晚上好。我们今天的海外研究生院校园分享会活动呢，现在就正式开始。在我们今天的直播里呢，我们有幸请到了 Fordham University g a b r i e l School of Business、福特汉姆大学加贝利商学院以及 Suffolk University 萨福克大学的招生官老师，为大家带来今天这场干货满满的分享活动。在今天的直播当中呢，同学们不仅可以了解到每所大学不同优秀的专业和项目，也可以了解了海外学习、生活和工作的真实全貌。接下来呢，我们将依次邀请各大学代表逐一上台，每所大学呢都会有15分钟的时间介绍自己的学校。我们也会在活动中间呢向大学提出我们收集到的一些大家最感兴趣的问题。这些问题呢，主要包括国外的学习、工作和生活这三个方面。当然，我们同时也非常欢迎大家向我们这些经验丰富的招生官老师提出属于你们自己的问题。好了，那么话不多说，就让我们啊、呃、邀请第一所分享的学校招生官老师上场，让我们欢迎 Fordham University。让我们欢迎 Fordham University Gabriel School of Business 福特汉姆大学加贝利商学院的 Lawrence 老师登场。Let's welcome Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. Hello. Okay, you can just、uh, go for it. Great.、Uh, thank you for joining me this evening. My name is Lawrence Murray, and I am the Dean of Admission at Fordham University's Gabriel School of Business. Uh, in New York City and the United States. Next slide. I'm here today to talk to you about our specialized Masters of Science programs, our MS programs.、Um, as you can see, we have a wide variety of programs across a wide variety of verticals. So, in our analytics vertical, we have three programs: applied statistics, business analytics, and marketing intelligence. In our business technology vertical, we have an information technology masters. In finance, we have two of our more, more popular master's programs: the MS in Global Finance and the Master's of Science in Quantitative Finance. In the management vertical, we have three programs: management, media management, strategic marketing, and communications. And finally, in our professional services vertical, we have two accounting programs: a Master's of Science in Accounting and a Master's of Science in Professional Taxation. As you can see, the vast majority of our programs are STEM designated,、uh, which means that an international student. Um, who is、uh, a student in one of these programs、uh, will receive three years of work authorization、um, after they complete their degree. Next slide, please. In addition to the robust and industry relevant curriculum that you'll get in the classroom, we also believe in developing leaders outside of the classroom.、Uh, we created the Gavelli Leadership Certification a few years ago. To help us achieve that goal of of making sure that we are crafting well-rounded leaders、um, to be good citizens in the organizations that they serve, as well as in their communities,、um, the leadership certification is an option for all of our specialized master's program students.、Um, as you can see, it includes a leadership assessment, a series of leadership assessments, a leadership simulation, leadership coaching, and the opportunity for leadership networking. We know that、uh, success in attaining an internship or a job、um, is really down to two critical factors. One is the competency, technical knowledge that you have in your specific specific discipline, whether that's finance, accounting, marketing, or what have you. But we also know that the interpersonal skills, the communication skills, those leadership skills, those leadership attributes are also important in or in to,、uh, in order to land an internship、uh, or a job. Next slide, please.、Uh, as part of that, getting a job, we have a full-service career development office、um, that helps support students in achieving their career goals and professional aspirations. Here's just a quick sampling of some of the companies that the members of our career services team have worked at in the past.、Um, as you can see, it's a、uh, very strong portfolio of、uh, some of the world's top companies. Next slide, please. Here are some of the offerings in our career development center. We offer one-on-one -on -one career advising,、uh, workshops and group sessions, on-campus recruiting. On-campus looks a little different now because of COVID, and so we're doing a lot of virtual on-campus recruiting.、Uh, we have a very robust career spotlight series where we bring in uh, two uh, alumni from top companies、um, every week,、um, and they do a showcase of their experience and their careers and spend time answering questions for students. We do mock interviews. That's an important part of the 
courtship process between a company and a student, um, an alumni networking program, and again, company site visits, uh, which look a little different in COVID because those are now virtual. Next slide, please. Again, we know that students go to business school because they are interested in, in their professional goals and career aspirations. Here are some of the companies that represent the destinations of our students for their internships, as well as for their full-time jobs. And again, you can see that this is a very strong portfolio of companies. And this is just an example. This isn't exhaustive, uh, but this is a very strong sample um, of companies across a wide variety of sectors and industries. Next slide, please. Um, we, are, we are located in the heart of New York City. Um, we, without a doubt, we know that uh, the global health pandemic has impacted um, sort of the economies of all countries in the world. We are still um, the engine for su uh, uh, industrial success and economic success in the U.S. as well as part of the world. Um, we have more than ten, nearly 10,000 Gabelli alumni in the New York Tri-State area. We have more than 40,000 Gabelli alumni across the globe. Uh, and we're very fortunate to have nearly 200,000 Fordham University alumni around the world for you all to tap into um, to help you on your career journey. Next slide, please. In addition to what you're learning in the classroom and your career aspirations and, and goals, we also have a strong expectation that students will take advantage of all of the other opportunities to bring the intersection of the classroom, um, so extracurricular activities, and career management, where those three pieces, where those three points meet, are student clubs and organization. Here's just a sample um, of the more than 20 student clubs and organizations. As you can see, they range from special interests um, to career, and we also have a, a few uh, non-traditional clubs. Uh, we just started a wine club, uh, and we have a table tennis club as well. We also have a very strong Chinese business student association and an international student association um, club also. Next slide, please. Here are the application requirements. These are pretty standard sort of across the board for most uh, graduate business schools. You need to submit a resume, your transcripts. Um, we now are test optional. Um, so the vast majority of our programs do not require um, the GMAT or the GRE. That's up to you. Um, there is only one exception and that is our Masters of Science in Quantitative Finance and that still requires a GMAT or a GRE. Um, the language competency exam is still required. You can see there are various options uh, that we accept. The TOEFL, the IELTS, the PTE, and the Duolingo, Duolingo English test. Uh, these are all now offered online and we accept all of them. You're required to do essays, recommendation letters, and the vast majority of applicants are invited for interview. Next slide, please. Here are application deadlines, pretty straightforward. Uh, the next application deadline for fall of 2021 is April 9th, followed by June 11th. Um, if you are interested in um, still attending, um, but missed the June 11th deadline, you can reach out to us. Uh, we'll handle those cases, those situations on a case by case basis. But you'll see we offer many deadlines um, in any given year. We want you to apply when you think that you are the strongest applicant. Next slide, please. Here are the uh, specific details regarding tuition and fees. Again, it's pretty straightforward. We charge by credit hour. Each academic program has a different number of credits. Um, and so you simply multiply the per re credit rate um, to the number of credits. Um, and then here are the different fees. There's a hot link in this slide um, that will take you right to our website that provides some additional um, Im information and context with the fees, but it's pretty straightforward. Next slide, please. We recognize that funding your degree uh, is a factor that determines whether or not you decide to pursue the degree. We do offer generous merit-based scholarships at the time of admission. You don't need to submit any additional um, application documents. Uh, those awards are typically 15,000 to 35,000 US dollars. Uh, we also offer graduate assistantships and continuing student scholarships once you've matriculated into the program. And then we partner with several uh, financial services organizations for student loans. Next slide, please. Um, here are the different ways that you can get involved with us. Um, if you go on any of these hot links, it'll take you to the website um, and you can see the different ways to connect with us. 
We have a virtual campus tour that we just launched. Um, that's actually uh, all, there's a link to that on our WeChat site. One-on-one um, -on -one and small group chats, information sessions. Um, there's a whole host of activities to suit your particular needs, interests, and desires. Um, so I hope that you will take advantage of the opportunity to connect with us. Next slide, please. Here are some things that we, uh, if we're talking about our response to COVID, um, we did, um, we were already thinking about going GMAT or GRE optional. Um, and so COVID accelerated that decision. Um, so again, um, the vast majority of our programs do not require the GMAT or GRE. Um, it's optional with the exception of the quantitative finance programs. We lengthened our deadlines. We now go into June to give students more time to make a decision. And we've made significant investments in educational technology and instructional design. Um, for this last year, we've been hybrid, uh, which means that students who are um, able to come to campus can come to campus. And then those that are not able to come to campus can join us virtual. Um, and then some students have the option to do both. Um, we are still um, uh, abiding by strong health and safety protocols, which includes on-campus density reduction. For the fall of 2021, this upcoming fall, we will be in person. And so we will still be adhering to strong health and safety protocols, and we will still accommodate students who might not be able to make it um, in the fall semester. Next slide, please. Here's the contact information of our admissions group, um, and they are assigned by program. So you can see the different programs there and the contact information uh, for the admissions officer associated with those programs. And next slide. I strongly encourage you to visit our website. There's the link there. Um, and our Chinese website, there, the link is right there. Um, and we also have a strong WeChat presence. Um, and you can see that by the QR code. So now happy to address any questions that you might have. All right, great. Thanks for your awesome sharing. And we do prepare a few questions. I want to ask you them first, and then we can do the student's question, okay? Sure. Okay, the first question would be, uh, is it normal for international students to do the internships at your college, uh, at your uh, camps? It is. I'd say the va it's a business school. The vast majority of students in any of our programs uh, partake in some type of internship. Um, for the master students, uh, those internships typically are in the summer, but it is not uncommon for students to do internships during the school year while they are also taking classes. All right, awesome. And so the students ask there ask about uh, how uh, does the school is a uh, safe and and how is the community there? Could you please like introduce a little bit how is the environment around the camps? Yep. And so um, I know that many of you have been uh, uh, looking at the news coming out of the, the U.S. Um, around safety issues and some anti-Asian sentiments. Um, we take safety um, very seriously at the Cabelli School as well as at Fordham University. Um, we are in, this, in the middle of Manhattan, you know, right near Central Park. Um, we have a gated community, and so the only people allowed on campus um, our faculty, students, and staff. In order to get into any building, you need a student ID. The area around um, the university, perfectly fine. Um, most students choose to live off campus. They don't live in university housing. They live in typically within about a 20 minute or 30 minute walk uh, from the university. And some live a little further out. It just depends on what your budget is. But overall, um, it, is, it is safe um, to come to the Cabela School and come to the, uh, the Fordham University, as well as to come to the United States. You know, one of the things that we would always tell people wherever you go, whether it's um, the US, whether it's Europe, whether it's parts of Asia, you should always, you know, be sure to take care of your personal safety uh, and make sure that you are avoiding situations in which there might be um, uh, uh, something bad could happen. All right, great. And the last question is uh, uh, what to do if the candidate doesn't meet the language requirement? Yeah, that's a great question. So I encourage yeah. you to reach out to the admissions officer assigned to the particular program that you're interested in um, to have a discussion about your language skills. Um, if your language skills truly aren't where they need to be, we also provide a few options to help you develop your language skills. One of those options is called uh, the International Business Bridge Program. 
it is an intensive language program that once completed, then if you're admitted into one of our master's programs, uh, you complete the IBB or the International Business Bridge program first, and then you can seamlessly transition um, into the master's program. Um, for those of you that think that you just need a little bit of practice and a little bit more confidence in your language skills, we also offer a program called Gabelli Talk. This typically happens in the summer before the fall semester begins. Um, and it is also an intensive language uh, communication and culture program. And you can All find right, information thanks. about those on our website. All right, so the students, if they want to know more about our school and they can just uh, scan the QR code or send email to you guys, right? Absolutely. All right, thanks for your answer, Lawrence. So that will be all for your session today. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Have a good night. Bye. 好，非常感谢 Lawrence 老师为我们带来的精彩的一个分享。嗯，接下来呢，我们就要邀请今天第二所即将分享的学校的赵春光老师，他是来自 Suffolk University 的 Scott 老师。Let's welcome Scott. All right. Good. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm well. How is everybody? Yeah, we are good. Okay, you can just、uh, go for it. All right. Great. Thank you. So. Good evening, everybody. It's morning here, but、uh, the time difference. So nice to speak with you. I'm Scott. I'm an admissions counselor、uh, at Suffolk University, and we can go to the next slide, please. All right. So a little bit about me. I've been with Suffolk for three years at this point,、um, <clears throat> and I have a portfolio of programs. I'm also an MBA student. Uh, so, any questions that you have about being in the classroom, being in the United States, I am happy to help. Next slide. So, a little bit about Suffolk. We were founded in 1906,、uh, and our graduate enrollment we're a mid-sized institution, and we have about 1,200 graduate students.、Um, We have a significant amount of international students. We were founded as a school for immigrants, actually, in the United States,、uh, and we have a significant number of women in our programs as well, more than than the usual.、Um, many of our faculty, over fifty percent in the business school, are international. Many coming from China,、um, and additionally. Um, we are right in the heart of the city、uh, of Boston, which I'll, I'll highlight in a minute. So, next slide. So, in terms of accreditation,、uh, Suffolk is fully accredited、uh, in terms of United States accreditation, both on the federal and state and regional levels. And I think the most important、uh, accreditation to highlight is the. AACSB, which is the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business、uh, International, and only about somewhere between 280 and 300 schools globally have that accreditation. So it's something that we're proud of,、uh, and it speaks to the fact that we teach to an international scope.、Um, so next slide. So, highlighting our location,、uh, we are in the northeast. It gets cold、uh, in the winter, but it gets beautiful in the fall and the spring, and it gets warm in the summer. So, we have all four、uh, seasons up here, and we can go to the next slide. So, zooming in a little bit,、uh, this is a great area, both for education and business、uh, research. Really, all of the above. Um, you can see New York, which the Gabelli School is right a little bit south, right in New York City.、Uh, and then, if you go further south, there's Washington D.C., where our federal government sits. So, all of that is within a train ride of a couple of hours.、Um, so, being really well connected、um, is is a big aspect of a Suffolk education. Next slide. So zooming in once more,、uh, this is downtown Boston. So 
although we are a considered a, a big city, um, it's actually a really <clears throat> a really small city in terms of being able to walk across it in a couple of hours um, and having a really nice small community. Uh, you know, New York, I love it, but I can't handle more than a couple of days before I get overwhelmed. Um, and in Boston, it's not overwhelming like that. You'll you'll know the lay of the land. You'll know different areas. Um, and specifically, Suffolk is so centrally located that the financial district is right to the right. That's about a 10-minute walk to our campus. So we get a lot of part-time students who are mid-level managers uh, and come to us part-time. And we don't separate part-time and full-time. So being in class with people like that really increases your ability to get jobs um, after. So we can go to the next slide. So in terms of the way that we teach, um, we really emphasize and leverage our great location through experiential learning. So every class, just about, you'll be doing a flash consultancy project, working with a real firm in the city, uh, generally one that your faculty works with, consults with. Um, and I've found those in my program to be incredibly insightful, you know, being able to actually get your hands dirty uh, before you leave the program and get that experience is, is really helpful. It's global in scope, as I mentioned. Many, um, the curriculum is, is set up for in, an international, you know, economy and society. Uh, and then in terms of the student body, <clears throat> we have many international students, many international faculty. And it's outcome-based. So that means we work with you to determine what your ultimate goal is and are able to, to help tailor your program um, and your experience and, and give you um, the resources that will help you reach your goal, whether it be stay in the United States or, or move on uh, and go back to China. Next question, or excuse me, next slide. So Boston's business clusters, um, I just like to highlight these. We're really well known for our finance, technology, and healthcare, and the intersection of all of those. So finance, technology, <clears throat> and in biotech. And we can go to the next slide. So we have 50 plus programs at Suffolk, uh, something for, for everybody, really. Um, so split between the business school and the College of Arts and Sciences. And we can go to the next slide. So MBA dual degrees, I like to highlight uh, because they only take an additional semester of study to get uh, an additional two years of OPT uh, so that you can stay in the United States without sponsorship for three years. Um, and you get two degrees. So it really, we've structured the programs so that getting two degrees is not, is only an additional semester. And it really... <clears throat> excuse me, and it really um, is helps you to set yourself apart in the job market, having a specialization on top of the MBA. Next slide. So a little bit about the MBA. Uh, it is our flagship program, um, so I like to highlight it. And in terms of concentrations, we have 16. So definitely, um, Again, able to tailor your program to what you're looking for. These are some of the most popular ones. Uh, and you can see that they they sort of emphasize um, those areas in Boston that are, are hot. So fintech, um, forensic accounting. We have all of the big four uh, accounting firms have big offices in Boston. So we're, we're well connected. Next slide. Also included in the MBA program are travel seminars. They run for a week uh, and go to London, Germany. You can go back to China, um, Las Vegas, Silicon Valley, Brazil, uh, depending on your functional area of interest. Next slide. So when it comes to financial aid, um, we offer competitive merit aid awards. You do not have to apply separately. 
Um, and in fact, your, your package will be outlined in your admission letter should you be admitted. Um, these can reach up to 50% off of tuition are the highest, um, and many students qualify for that aid. So um, it's certainly worth at least applying so that you can see what your aid is and then making a decision from there. Um, we try and make it as easy and streamlined as possible. And we can go to the next slide, please. So yeah, again, Boston is really is our campus. Um, we are woven into the fabric of the city. Uh, there's a very diverse population, a rich history, um, really a robust art scene. We have lots of museums, lots of different um, venues to go to, to music shows as well. Uh, and then in terms of just general attractions, you can see quite a few listed down there. Uh, but there's always something to do. We're all excited to, to have everything open back up, um, which we're, we are expecting to be on campus um, fully in the fall. So we're fingers crossed looking forward to, uh, to getting back out into the city. And next slide. All right, yes, so that is a picture of our downtown uh, campus. You can sort of see see our buildings there, again, woven right into the to the fabric of the city. And uh, feel free to, to email me. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one to discuss things further, but I am happy to, to help you out. And we can uh, open it up for questions at this point. All right, great. Thanks for your uh, awesome sharing. And so now we're gonna jump right into the Q&A session. In the uh, we do prepare a few questions, so I want to go for that first, and then we can do the student part, all right? Great. Okay, so the first the question is, uh, what about uh, networking and the career support in our camp? Yes, um, so that, I think, is where Suffolk really excels. Because of our size and our location and general uh, instructional method, your faculty are often great uh, conduits to getting positions. Um, I've seen students get positions through doing the flash consultancy projects. So, you know, we present, uh, the client really enjoys what they saw and they say, hey, you know, would you like to set up a meeting for, for an interview? Um, so it's that organic networking. Um, and also our alumni stay, <clears throat> tend to stay in the city, um, or go back home to, you know, China. We have a lot of students in Africa. So having an alumni base that's active, um, is, is really a big benefit as well. All right, great. And the students is uh, starting to ask so many questions. So I'm going to pick the lucky one. Okay. So, uh, this one is, uh, this student asked, uh, if sorry, it's like okay. If can't understand the courses, can school help me with that, or who should I talk to? Yes, yeah, I've had this issue, and I speak English, uh, you know, fully. It's my native language. Um, we have really strong um, career uh, tutoring a tutoring center that really. Um, it's very easy to set up an appointment. You can do it virtually. When it comes to it, we'll be able to go to the tutoring center um, and schedule half hour or hour appointments with an expert who's actually, you know, gotten an A in the class. Um, and then when it comes to, to English language, uh, if you're having trouble with sort of the, the language, um, number one, you won't be alone. So you'll have several other Chinese students uh, and also, odds are, you will, chances are you could have um, a, a Chinese faculty member as well. Uh, so, or, or someone that you can go to that can help you navigate that. We also have an Intu Center, um, which is a third party organization that we partner with to provide you with, um, we call them sheltered classes. So you're with students who are also learning English but taking the curriculum. Um, and I can always provide more information about that if someone uh, has any questions. Awesome, so the language won't be the issue here or there? 
No, no. Yeah. Okay. So the last question uh, before the students asking about like school life. So they want to know. Uh, do we? Uh, could you please like introduce a few like really fun organization the students can join it or some clubs the students can join it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, and I wish I could be more involved as as a student,、mm -hmm. um, but with my full time job doing this, it's it's tough.、Um, but we have different dance groups,、um, different. We have an an Asian.、Um, Sort of support group or、um, or or group that you know is meant for for students, international students from from Asia.、Um, many of them are Chinese, and additionally, when it comes to different academic areas, so a, a marketing group, a an accounting group, if that's your thing,、uh, a finance group,、uh, and then also. We do have governance groups as well,、um, and also you can start your own group, which I know most schools say, but Suffolk does、um, make it quite easy. You just need, I think, five five people to、mm -hmm. get an officially sanctioned group.、Um, so really, whatever your interests are,、um, and there are many more as well.、Um, I should know them better, but again, I, it's it's tough balancing everything.、Um, But I can certainly provide insight to that as well,、um, and Nicole might know some、uh, in the chat as well. Yeah, sounds really cool. All right, so that will be all for your session today, and thanks you so much for this opportunity to let us know about our camps. Thank you so much. All right, thanks everybody. Take care. Okay, see you next time. Bye. 好，非常感谢我们的 Scott 老师为我们带来的精彩的分享。好，那我们今天的两所学校的分享呢，到这里就全部结束了。也是因为时间的原因呢，我们没有办法和呃没有充足的时间和每一位赵生光老师进行深度的沟通。也欢迎同学们去下载我们老师的 PPT， 添加老师的联系方式进行更深一步的咨询。最后，非常感谢大家今晚的到来，希望同学们也可以继续关注我们未来的云展活动。大家晚安，我们下次再见。